everyone, it is time to learn about another friend of Jesus. This story comes from Luke in the Bible. Oh, hello, welcome back. Are you ready to hear about our Bible lesson? Yep. Who are we learning about today, Alice? <gasps> um, my name's not Alice. Oh, sorry, it's Lisa. Um, no, not Lisa either. Oops, um, hold on. I know this, your name is Alison. What? No! Jamie? No! Jess? No. Jackie? Not really, no. Apple? Apple? And now I am just offended. Now I thought we were friends, but you don't even know my name. Names are important, aren't they? When you know someone, you use their name because it shows that you know them. The people who are closest to me know my name and some even know my middle name. And sometimes they even give me special nicknames. And in today's Bible lesson, Jesus called a man by his name. But the strange thing is, he'd never met this man before. But even though there were strangers, Jesus knew this man already, and he knows us too. Oh, sorry, Jazz. I know your name. I was just joking. Can I still find out who we are learning about today, please? Today, we are learning about Zacchaeus, and he was known by Jesus, and you can find his story in the book of Luke in chapter 19. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Kids Church. Today we're going to be playing a game. You can probably hear my dogs in the background. That's because we're at my home. All right, are you ready? Let's go play this game. Today we will be playing, that's Archie by the way. Today we will be playing I Spy. And if you don't remember how to play this, I'm going to think of something and you guys are going to have to guess what it is. Are you ready? All right, I spy with my little eye. Something red. Yell out, boys and girls, what you think it will be. Do you think the bag with the fruit on it? No, it's actually the shield. All right, here's another one. I spy with my little eye. Something white. That's a bit tricky. There's a few things on there that's white. What do you think it is? Did you say the sheep? That's right, boys and girls, it is the sheep. All right, I spy with my little eye something blue. All right, what do you think it is? Did you say the umbrella? Well done, boys and girls. That's the end of our game. If you want to continue playing, you can play with your siblings or mum and dad. See you next time, bye. Last week, we saw how Jesus called the first 12 disciples to come and follow him. Today, he calls us too. Each one of us is invited to be friends with Jesus. Now, this is a big deal. It means we get to have a relationship with God who made us and who loves us. It means having forgiveness from sin and the hope of eternal life in him. It means having his Holy Spirit and being a part of what he is doing on earth through his people. When we become a friend of Jesus, everything changes. And today we're learning about a man whose whole life got flipped upside down when he met Jesus. This man's name is Zacchaeus. But first, I want you to think of the most famous person you know, a celebrity, a movie star, or a singer, or a sporting hero. Imagine that they are coming to Melbourne and you are so excited and want to see them. So you go to the city and you get a glimpse, but the crowds are massive and you can't see anything. You hear the celebrity coming closer. So you scramble to try and find a high place so you can see them. And then all of a sudden, they're standing right in front of you and they start talking to you. They call you by your name and say, I need a place to stay tonight. Can I come to your house? Well, this is exactly what happened to Zacchaeus, except it wasn't just a famous person 
who knew his name. It was the savior of the world. It was God's only son, Jesus. Jesus and Zacchaeus had never met before, and yet Jesus knew Zacchaeus by name. In fact, Jesus knew everything about Zacchaeus, even all the bad things, like the fact that he cheated and stole from people. Jesus knows us too. He knows your name, he knows your hopes and fears, and he knows your heart. But he also knows about the time when we've had mean thoughts about someone. He knows about the time that we pushed our brothers or our sisters, and he knows when we tell lies to mum. Jesus knows us inside and out. He knows us better than anyone else, and still he chooses to call us friends. When Zacchaeus met Jesus, his life changed. He gave away his money to the poor, he repaid everyone he cheated, and he received salvation and forgiveness. How will our lives change because of the friendship with Jesus? If you want to find out more about this story, take a look in the Bible and look at the book of Luke chapter 19.